hey guys I gotta put these motors in today actually you know I, I diagnosed those motors in the chiller about two months ago and, and it's now I'm coming put these new motors in I don't know I, you know I put there were six that were bad and I replaced three and uh, now I'm here to replace the other three you know it's like two three months down the line I don't know why show you guys around here these are the chiller pumps chilled water pumps Expansion tank. And this is the glycol. Uh, if you want to put glycol in the system, you put it in here and then it'll, it'll suck into the pump. Suck it through the pump. So I'm going to go up there and put those motors in. Stay the motors that I took off. There was another one. There six all together. So I'm going to go up there. Put this on. Hey, move out of the way, puto. <laughs> Putos. <laughs> Puñeta. These are our chillers, McRae's. Had a lot of problems with this chiller. Uh, whoever was here before us, uh, the sensors failed. Oh, these are not McQuay, I'm sorry, Arctic Chill. I don't know why I said McQuay. Uh, all the sensors failed, and uh, what they did was they went into the PLC and uh, kind of bypassed everything, jumped everything out, and uh, what happened here was the entire system froze up, and we had about 15 coils that busted. So, it's a five bank system. One, two, three, four. And uh, I'm the motors, I, I, Replace the motors on that one, so this is the one I have to replace the motors on. We're gonna get up there. There's an alarm on this, but I'm not clearing shit because we don't have to make the contract no more. We don't have the contract no more, so we're just putting Here it in the on top of the chiller. Back there are the ones that I replaced. Today we're gonna put some motors in these guys. As you can see, we have no motors. I also have to replace these blades eventually because they're not discharging the proper air like the plastic ones. And the angle of them are a little bit different. But that's what we're gonna work on. Alright. So these guys are gonna be dropping in there. We're gonna drop them in there. We're not gonna secure anything until we get the blades. We'll just do the wires. Hold up. Three face motor. Yeah, what these people did, man, I came in, I made all the repairs, and then they gave the contract to somebody else. They said we came up a little higher. Who gives a fuck? So what? You know? Give you quality work, no? Right, Martin? Yeah. Quality work is not free. We the best company. Hold that, puppy, too low. You already know. Yeah, man, quality work, you know? It's what happens with the quality work. These are plastic. Put them on here, and if they're going backwards, we'll reverse them by the contactor. Okay. Yeah, it's easy as one, two, three, right, bro? Yeah. Okay. Also, I just want to point out for the people that don't know, you know, you got low voltage and high voltage. This is a 240, 460 motor. So the low voltage here um, would be the two, 230 and the high voltage would be 460. This chiller is a 460 volt machine. So I just got to rearrange some of the wires. You can see it says black and purple on D orange and gray on E and black on pink on F so right now this thing is not set for that so I just gotta switch some of these wires around we're not gonna secure it until we get the blade because these new motors are smaller than the smaller than the, the the height is smaller than the old ones so 
what we're gonna do is here okay put a bolt down there take one bolt squeeze those in together just keep them in here enough to pick it up and down when we get the blade then we'll uh, line it up and then tighten everything up okay i'm gonna hold it for him he's gonna put the bolt on the third one in and uh we're just waiting on uh, two shields the rain shields those little little things right there like i said these motors have been here for over two months uh, i was supposed to come back but i don't know what happened i guess they didn't agree on something who the hell knows but it says so we're gonna wait on those we'll put the fans on plates they're plastic blades whatever the hell they are i don't know if they're plastic but just tying those suckers down originally i ordered four blades to replace these four aluminums because they weren't discharging enough air in summertime and i called the manufacturer they, they said that we had to go with the oem um i don't know if it's true or not but you know i did have a high head pressure on this one right here i wore them um so i ordered them but the three blades that i had for these three motors they threw them out hold the blade Come on, sucker, you don't know how to do shit on your own? I do, I got... This shit's not hard. I gotta teach you how to use Allen keys? Yep. Mama, where will... Oh. I should've brought the other Allen keys, the good ones. With the T-handles. I would do it the other way, but this, this one got real tight. So. It's what? It's real tight. Alright, dude, put the cage on. Cage! K -K -K cage! Watch my fucking expensive-ass ratchet! The one you got on sale for 10 bucks? This costs more than you make a day, bro. Vamos, puñeta. Take so long, man. You got all the fans on. The cage is on. And uh, we're going to go and do the contact. All right, let's go down, bro. Get the tools, mother flower. Good? <laughs> so I just want to make sure oh, that's our continuity. I want to make sure that everything is off. This is 460 voltage, man. I'm good. Right. I think I'm gonna shut this sucker off. Uh, you know what's funny? Once I change the contactor for the week, I change contactors all fucking week. <laughs> I don't know, that's weird, no? Yeah. Okay, hold on. One second. Oh, that's it. Okay, okay, okay. So, take all the shit off. Changing all the contactors, we put new fan motors they want. Because uh, I did a major repair on this chiller. Uh, beginning of the summer, so pretty much hell, man. So they don't want no problems. We're just gonna change the contact because these are old, and uh, this one is bad, obviously. But take a look at that. So we're just gonna replace all of them. All right, so that's that. This is this fan. Maybe we don't have time here. Oh, we have the, we can pull those in between or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one screw. I gotta pull this guy out too and uh, redo this low voltage line. I don't know why it's all cut out. Uh, oh, that's all the other way around. I'm just gonna bend it like that. Bye bye. Yeah. yeah. One thing, uh, this screwdriver is magnetic, is nice, but you know, when it's magnetic, you get all that shit on it. Cut it and you strip it, but I'll leave it like that because if you face the contact in the future, then you can just pull it out and put it right on, you know? Mm -hmm. Same shit, just contact. You know, Biggie works just as good. These fans are like three amps, works just as good. You always want to tighten this up one real tight because the electricity will vibrate. Yeah. Okay. Ponyata, ponyata. Oh shit, I'm not supposed to curse. Huh. And these guys in. Ain't nothing wrong with that boy. Sorry. Oh, we'll get it, we'll get it. <laughs> you hurt my finger. <laughs> 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 I like it, this chip, man. Okay. So, guys, I met Steven Raritan yesterday. He came on one of the job sites I was working on. And we talked, showed him around a little bit. He's a very nice guy, man. Awesome dude, man. His wife was cool, he was cool. And uh, he's a really nice fella. I like him a lot. All right, let's start with this one. That's it. Hold up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Crimper, bro. This guy 
It's an awesome crank. I'm gonna show you this right now. I can't see bro. Hold up. Your hands in the way, man. Hold up, hold up. Look at that. Look how nice that crank is, bro. I don't care, this is a nice crank. Let me see that. This it's worth every f see it? Yeah it is. Look that's a nice crank dude. Alright man, yo, it's raining. Let's pack this shit up. Let's pack up my tools, man. Ain't nothing to play with now, boys. You know, I'm from Texas. And I used to live down in South Carolina back in my days, you know. I'm reckon y'all know how to change the contact in here. I'm reckon uh y'all already see it. I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but I'm saying something. And I used to get down to my 4x4, and I used to ride my truck right in the mud. Yeah. Is that how you guys talk in Pennsylvania? Nah, Martin? Not that country, man. Only a little bit. You a redneck. Redneck. I'm a redneck. I love redneck girls. Those are some hot they chicks. They are, y'all. No, um, you're talking about cowboys. I, like, cow I like them girls with the cowboy hats. Them cowgirls. Cow <laughs> what are they called? You want cowboys? Them country girls? Country girls, yeah. That's what it is. All right. Yeah. Let me put it this one. Them cowboy boots. Yeah, man. Cowgirl boots. Yeah, cow cowgirl boots. That's right. Yeah. Cowboy boots. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you just want to make sure, you know, got the coil wires in the back. Okay. And the phases. You know, we need to run the motors before we can even see if we're in the right direction. Alright fellas, so everything is cool. We checked the rotation. Uh, and uh, this is Slave 4. This won't come on until it's uh, really needed. But we did test it. Shut off the other ones and push this guy to come on. These are real simple. Power comes in. We have a PLC uh, controller here. These fuses... You know, the line voltage comes in, passes through the contactor, goes through the fuse, then to the compressor. It's a weird design, I never really seen it that way. Normally you see it on the line side, but on the big fuses. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, fellas. Thank you.